you guys welcome back to my channel it's Ashley here thank you so much for joining me if you haven't been here before welcome if you have welcome back um, today I'm gonna be talking a little bit about health and lifestyle how I lost weight and why I lost weight all that kind of stuff just because so many people have asked me on Instagram how I did it um, what I did some people thought I had liposuction uh, which I didn't um, basically I lost about six kilos in the past six months um, by just, you know, training really well, eating really well, all that kind of stuff. So I just wanted to give you guys some little tips of what I've done to lose the weight. Um, I've gone from a size 10 to six or eight at the moment. And I'm, I feel this is probably the best I've felt in years in terms of health wise. Like I feel really fit and really strong. Um, other than that, you know I'm just happy that I can fit into like little clothes and stuff um, but a little bit of back background about me so I've been diagnosed with endometriosis for over 10 years actually um, and I had my first surgery yeah close to 10 years ago to kind of get the cyst removed all my endometriosis removed just in case if you don't know what endometriosis is it's basically every month when women um, when we all get our period, so you normally shed everything through your vagina and everything just comes out and everything's fine. But for people with endometriosis, all the little endo tissue grows everywhere inside. Anywhere inside your stomach, um, yeah, everywhere really. So for me, <laughs> I had it, I, well, according to my specialist, I was the most severe case of endo he's ever seen, one off anyways, um, which was quite horrible and he said that I had it growing everywhere. Um, so in January I was getting so much pain, constant pain, like a 20 out of 10, like it was always in so much pain. So if I get my period I would basically cancel all my appointments, all my events, everything has to stop and Ashley will be on the couch with medications pain medications like heavy pain medications and just um i basically can't move and do anything so the period pain is uh is a horrible horrible thing so if you have that and you and i also was bleeding a lot and also for a long period of time so i was probably getting my period for maybe like three weeks out of a month so I was constantly just bleeding. So if you guys have like really heavy period, really bad pain, um, make sure you go get it all checked out. Um, for me, I waited for so long to kind of get it fixed a second time because I just, I just kept putting it off. But anyhow, in January, my doctor, we had an ultrasound, we checked everything and he's like, look, <laughs> it's so bad that you just need to sort it out. So I, I was, transiting in Bangkok at the time so I flew back to Sydney it was a big thing um, and then I had the surgery but I decided once I knew the surgery date I was like okay Ash you need to just get healthy because you need to like bounce back really quickly I had so much work lining up for me everyone was waiting back for me in London to get stuff done and I was like I just don't have time to like lie around and just get better all that kind of stuff so I decided the day I found out that I think it was yeah, three weeks before surgery, I found out I knew the date and I was like, okay, I'm going to eat super, super healthy. I'm going to train like every single day and just go into this surgery in the best, you know, shape that I can to give myself the best possible chance to come out and have like a really smooth recovery. My first surgery that I had for endo was horrific, horrible. The recovery was so bad. I, I, so yeah, now when I think about it, I'm like, it's like night and day. What happened 10 years ago was horrible. And this time around, I was still in so much pain after the surgery. But after a week, I felt good. You know, I was like, okay, I felt normal. Um, so I was eating mainly like before I left London, before Christmas, I was probably eating deliveries like three meals a day because I never bought food. I just thought, oh, like I'm so busy. I would get, I would eat out breakfast, lunch and dinner. And if you know, that's like really expensive. And also it's so unhealthy that you just like slowly put on weight. And I, I didn't even realize that I put on weight or whatever, but I went back to Sydney and all I did was 
my mum was just cooking me like delicious, yummy, um, homemade food and I was eating that and I was going to the gym like almost every day. I started training really well and I really enjoy like training and sweating, all that kind of stuff. So I didn't lose that much weight but I felt like I felt good before surgery. So I was like, okay, I'm in the best possible chance. So I went into surgery, I came out and basically I couldn't eat, right? Your stomach becomes so big. So with the surgery, um, I couldn't even get up by myself. I had to get someone to pull me up. I okay, so I'm feeling a little bit normal today. My room is a huge mess, but um, I'm gonna try to go out for breakfast today. But this is my current situation. Very sore. It's, yeah, even though it's keyhole, but it's still painful. Um, my doctor was in there for five hours to like cut everything out and he only, um, there was part of my bowel that had to be sectioned out as well. This is a lot of details for you guys. I know you're here for like weight loss and stuff only, but I wanted to give you a background of why I did it. Um, but yeah, that was it. So I came back out from surgery and I was just eating, again, like really, really healthy food. My mum was making me like just homemade stuff, you know, and then um, and then I don't think I went back to the gym for a month because I didn't want to like put pressure on my stomach at all because things, even though the, the scar would heal on the outside, but on the inside it's not. So I knew that the doctors like went in there and cut a lot out. So I didn't want to like risk anything. Um, and then I came back to London, yeah, like two weeks, yeah, two weeks after surgery, flew back and then I was on a mission to just like be super, super healthy. I stopped drinking alcohol. Um, I drink now, but I didn't, I, at the time I was like, let me just have a little break and just like get healthy. So alcohol has so many calories by the way, but you just be careful, like everything in moderation. And now my rule is I can eat naughty stuff, and 20% of the time, and if I eat healthy 80% of the time, I'm fine. Um, I also love drinking like apple cider vinegar in the morning, um, every morning, and I think when I was trying to lose a bit more weight, I would drink it before dinner as well. Morning little routine, I just woke up, brush my teeth, um, and then I try to drink this as soon as I wake up, obviously. Um, this is my favorite um, apple cider vinegar and it's by Bragg. It's organic, it's raw, unfiltered, and it has the mother in it, which is the cloudy stuff on the inside, which is the active ingredient. Otherwise, um, it's not really that good for you. So make sure you get this one. I've been drinking this for like over six months now. More actually. I because it's quite acidic it's really bad for your teeth and you'll end up just wearing the enamel away want to make sure you keep your teeth nice and healthy I think I've, I've, I train pretty well now like I push myself now whereas before I was like oh, I needed like people to tell me what to do all that kind of stuff but now I can push myself like harder because I'm so used to training now that I just do like YouTube exercises so I'll link everything in there as well if you guys are interested they are amazing like I never used to have abs whatsoever but if you do these training that I did from YouTube I mean if I can get abs you probably can so it's it's like I I can see the changes in my body all my clothes from last year did not fit me anymore everything was like slightly bigger so pretty much this year I got a whole new wardrobe of like everything in size 6 and 8 which is super super cool and then um, I just kept like the size 10 just in case if I ever put on weight again but um, it's really nice and I feel 
super super confident you know I can it's summer I can go out and like buy a bikini a cute bikini I mean when I was a size 10 I was still like rocking a bikini too but now I feel like super super confident about my body I feel really fit I feel really strong so if you know me I love eating so much and like everyone would say that I would just eat everything that I wanted um, but now I'm kind of just like a little bit more careful with food and what I eat um, but training is like key for me so all the exercises that I do you actually don't need a gym you can just like use your own body weight um, and just start that in your own like lounge room or something and then if you don't want to go to the gym yeah you can start doing that I mean you I mean, I feel like if I can do it, then you guys could definitely do it. I never thought I could lose weight, but um, once you kind of change your lifestyle, then the weight just comes off. And then if I put on a little, I'm like, okay, I just need to cut down a little bit here and there, and then my weight just drops off again. So I guess I am at an ideal weight. I weigh 58 kilograms at the moment. I always thought I wanted to be 55, but I'm not too fast. I feel pretty happy and I fit into all the clothes that I want to fit into. Um, and for me, it's not really about weight, it's just how I feel on the inside. So don't worry about sizes. If you know, you can be any size and if you feel fit, you feel strong, you feel healthy. I think that's the most important thing I want to express. Like it's not about the numbers of size, like you're a size extra small or a size small. I felt comfortable and happy when I was a size 10 too but now I feel even more confident when I'm like a size 8 um, yeah so that is I guess that's all my little tips on my weight loss um, but the abs work out <laughs> are amazing Chloe Ting uh, she was my very first video that I started doing and then all of a sudden after like two weeks I'm like oh I'm, I'm like I'm having like these little you know oblique lines and like little lines here which I never had before I'll try to show you guys some of my photos from last year yeah anyhow thank you guys so much for watching I hope you find this a little bit useful